Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is local media, money and saving. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we need to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Yay! Good job, everyone! For today's lesson, we'll be talking about 3D shapes syllables, and money. Now, boys and girls, let's begin our lesson on page 28. On page 28, we are going to be doing 3D shapes. Now, these are shapes that we're going to learn about that are different from the other ones that we know, like a square or a triangle. Instead, we're going to do four new ones together. So let's take a look at the board. The first one is called a sphere. Sphere. Everyone, let's say sphere. Well done. Now, as you can see, the sphere is like a ball. This dotted line that you are looking at is the one that is behind. So it is shaped nice and round. It has no edges and we can turn it on either side and it will still be a sphere. It's going to be your job to color the items that look like a sphere in your book. The next one that we have is a cube. Cube. Everyone, let's say cube. Now a cube is different from a sphere because you can see that it has corners. These lines that are broken are the ones behind. So we have many things that are shaped like a cube. Remember, we pronounce this as k -k cube. Very good. So, I'd like you to please draw the items that are in your book that look like a cube. And then the next 3D shape that we have is a cone. C -c cone. Now, a cone has a pointed top and a round bottom, which is also flat. But now, when we're looking for the things that are in our books, I want you to take a good look at all the things that can look like a cone. Lastly, we have a cylinder. Cylinder. Now, we pronounce this as cylinder, not cylinder. <laughs> this is a cylinder. It has two flat bottoms, the first one and the bottom one. 
and it is also round. There are many things in our house that are shaped like a cylinder and I want you to also try and find them in your booklet. Once you have found them, please color them beautifully. You're going to start by looking for the sphere and then you'll look for the cube. You will look for the cone and lastly you will look for the cylinder. Have fun, color neatly and I will see you after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now boys and girls, let's move on to our next activity on page 29. On page 29, we're going to be doing syllables. Now remember, syllables is when we break down a word to try and find out how many parts it has. Remember, letters make sounds and those sounds turn into words. So when we put sounds together, we make a word. But instead, now we're going to be breaking apart words to see how many sounds or syllables it has. We're going to do the first one together and the last one together. So let us begin. The first word we have is the word shopkeeper. Shopkeeper. Now I want us to say that word slowly. Shopkeeper. Again, shopkeeper. Now we're going to say it slowly, but this time clapping our hands as we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Shopkeeper. Let's try again. Shopkeeper. Very good boys and girls. So now I want you to please count how many times we have clapped our hands. Let's go. Shopkeeper. How many times did we clap our hands? Let's try again. Shopkeeper. Good job. Now, how many times do you say we clapped our hands? If you say once, that's not correct. If you say three times for the word shopkeeper, well done! I'd like you to please circle the number three. Now we're going to do the last one together where we can see a beautiful sun. We're going to start by saying the word slowly. Sun. Sun. Well done. Now we're going to clap with the word sun. Are you ready? Let's go. Sun. Sun. How many times did we clap when we said the word sun? If you said once, well done. So that means we are going to circle the number one. The rest of them you are going to read and do by yourselves. Remember, we did these as our vocabulary words, so we know how to say some of them. We have the word price, sunflower, fish, leaf, customer, money, apple. Take your time, boys and girls, read the words out loud, clap, and you will get your answer. Try and do it with someone at home as well, so that you don't get it wrong. I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. 
Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Now, boys and girls, to end our lesson today, we are going to go to page 30. On page 30, we are talking about money. And the type of money we're going to be talking about are coins. Now, there are five types of coins. What we call these coins are cents. So we're going to start with the smallest one in terms of value and then we will move to the biggest one. So let us take a look at the table. The first one that you also have in your book is the five cent coin. It has a five and a k. We call this the five cent coin because it can buy something that is worth five cents. So if you have this coin, it is the smallest one that we use here in Namibia. And five cent coins can be added. So if I have two five cent coins, I will get 10 cents. Now this one is a 10 cent coin. It has a 10 and a k for the word cent. If you take a good look at it, it is bigger than our five cent coin, which means it can buy more. So the value of this coin is more than our five cent coin. The next one that we have is the 50 cent coin. Now, as you can see, the more we go up, the bigger the coin, just like in your book, and the more value it has. A 50 cent coin is one that we can use to buy sweets. Yes! So, if I have one 50 cent coin and another 50 cent coin, I will now have the value of one dollar. So two of these, one, two, will give me one Namibian dollar. Now this is not a cent anymore. You can see that it has a n and a dollar sign and a one. So unlike the 50 cent coin where we were reading it as 50 cents, the dollar is different. We read it as one Namibian dollar. Let's practice that one. One Namibian dollar. Well done. This one, if we have five of them, gives us our next coin. And our last coin for today is the five do Namibian dollar coin. Now this one is the biggest coin just like the one in your booklet, which means it can buy more. So, you now know the names of our coins. The first one, which is also written at the bottom, is the five cent coin. The second one is the 10 cent coin. Then, the next one, is the 50 cent coin. From there, two 50 cent coins will make a one Namibian dollar. Then if we have five of them, they will make the one that we have the biggest for today, which is a five Namibian dollar coin. All the names of the coins are at the bottom. So now that we know the value of our coins, let's try and do one part of our exercise in our booklet. Let's take a look. So the first thing that you're going to do is write the name of the coins. You are going to take a good look at the coin and the name is written at the bottom. 
Please copy correctly and take your time. The next part that you're going to do is to circle the one that is more. Now here, you are going to use the size of the coin to help you for a, b, k, and d. So for those first four, please use the size of the coin. If you see that the coin is bigger, that's the one that has more or can buy more. After that, you now need to find out for e and f which one is more. Take your time for all the exercises. You can try and use coins, the ones that you have at home, if you do have them, or you can use the ones in your booklets. Remember to circle carefully and to write the names neatly. I will see you soon, my dear children, after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook, Active Kids, to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson. And if you are not sure what to do, or if you think you did the wrong thing, that's okay. You can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure you finish your work by yourself. Now that we are done, we need to sanitize. Remember, when we sanitize, we're trying to make sure that the germs stay far away. So sanitize as often as you can. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi was supposed to come and visit me today, but I didn't see him come in. Have you seen Sashi? Sashi! Oh, <laughs> there you are, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mir Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.